In this technical corner, I'm joined by Ross Milne from Ram Engineering and Tooling, and we're talking about the Fermat uh, range of machines. Um, but the topic uh, for today is the WRF. Now, Ross, um, tell me about this particular range, what yep. the WRF stands for. Okay, as you can see in, the, in some of the videos, it's in the background here, the WRF is a floor type machine. So by rights, you've got your traveling column, which can move along the floor. In front of that, essentially, you can have whatever you like. It can be a static floor plate. It could be a rotary table. We have rotary tables that can actually tilt to angles. Um, again, specific to Fermat. Um, so, so really, it's a very flexible way to machine very, very large parts. Mm. Um, installation must be quite something, isn't it? What, yeah. What's the preparation needed? Yeah. Like so you need to think about foundations and things when you're doing this. Again, it's largely dependent on what you're putting in front of the machine. Mm. In the background, by rights, you need a slab for the, the, the travelling column to be seated on. Um, but in front of that, if you've got a table that needs to be lowered into the floor, you do need to consider the foundations if you're considering the, the cost of one of these machines. Um, what about the axes on here? We can see tables turning, heads yep. tipping. Yep. What's what's available? Again, uh, you can go right to five axis with this, no problem at all. Um, we have W axes, we, you, can have a, you can have the quill as well as the ram. Um, so lots of extension. Um, within these heads, we've got 90 degree and 45 degree um, universal heads, but these heads, our universal heads here, can actually continuously machine as opposed to just positioning. Okay, so you can do almost that, sort of simultaneous in this style. In this style, right, okay. Yeah. Um, where are the machines built, Ross? Uh, these machines are built in the Czech Republic. Um, They've got. Do they do every or, 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 everything we see here? Is it made by them? Is it they're, they're catering for every aspect? Of Ninety it? to ninety-five percent of the machines are built by themselves in the Czech Republic, so they have good control, um, good turnaround, and good stock holding of any component parts. So, if you've ever got any service issues, which we we, we hope you don't, but if you do have any service issues or need some parts. Give us a shout, no problem. And we've got this colourful chap, spends a lot of time sort of he standing does. on the machines and, and doing quite uh, novel methods of promotion. <laughs> um, is he the owner of the company? He or? is not. He is, is not. No, no, no. <laughs> but, Purely promotional. But a lot of what he's doing here is really trying to demonstrate the flexibility of the machines, what the machines can, can cater for, yep. isn't he? And I think it works quite well. And give you an idea of perspective as well. I mean, if you, if you look at a table, looks like a table. This is tipping, yeah. There's your tipping table. So you could use this for, for making the nose cones for um, power, uh, wind power generators. Um, the, the, the idea is you see a table, you've got no idea how big that table is really. You get a rough idea looking at pictures like this. Stick somebody on top of it and you can actually see the scale. These axes on the, on the floor type machines can go up to eight metres. Um, in the vertical. So, I mean, we're talking serious machines. At eight metres in the vertical. And what about the, the, the movement? Up to 27 metres so far is what we've done um, in the longitudinal. So mm. the, the X, if you like. I'm thinking big diesel engine casings. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. We're, we're talking very heavy industrial engineering here, aren't we? If you think about it slightly differently as well, you can put a component part in front of the, the travelling column. You can do part of that application there. You can move along. You can do the next one. You can move along. You can do the next one. We have applications as well where we're at either side of the component part. So doing two sides simultaneously to pull out cycle time. Again, it's it, it's it's horses for courses. Um, where's your market, Ross, for these here uh, in the UK and Ireland? The whole UK and Ireland, yep, yep. We're looking at all heavy industry. All heavy industry. Um, when it comes to the, the smaller sizes, obviously they lend themselves to subcontractors and things as well. Tier 1s, Tier 2s, um, serious contractors for the larger ones. Competitively priced? Very competitively priced, yep. yep. If you're looking for something that's got a lot of tech, mm. but is well priced, Fermat's for you. Good stuff. Contact Ram Engineering and Tooling to find out more about the Fermat range.